Hey what's up guys welcome to fine gap youtube channel and in today's video we will learn about fragments we will implement two fragments on our main activity guys here you can see that uh, here i have placed a frame layout and these are, are our two buttons when i will click on fragment one and when i will click on fragment two our fragment two will be replaced and when i will click on fragment one our fragment one will be re replaced with the frame layout so stay tuned with us because we will learn a lot about in this video and before start please i request you to subscribe our youtube channel to stay up to date with latest programming videos and guys before go to android studio you must need to know that what are fragments where we use fragments and some real life of fragments okay guys here you can see that this is our android studio you have to click on new project select mpt activity click on next button and uh, here i'm going to type here like fine gap one two and uh, this is our package name and i'm going to choose language java and minimum sdk would be ap level 21 so click on finish button android studio will create a new project for us here you can see that a new project have been created go to activity underscore main and uh, here we will design our user interface so first of all search here frame layout drag this and drop this inside our screen constrain it to the top cons constrain it to the right constrain it to the left i'm going to give a uh, width would be match parent and height would be 600 dp so in our frame layout our fragments will be changed so i'm going to remove this text view because we don't need this and uh, constrain it top so now you can see that our this error have been removed now first of all we have to drag our first button and also drag our second button we have to select both of them and uh, we have to create a chain between them create a horizontal chain and uh, its width would be 0 dp and its width would be also 0 dp so you can see that our button have been converted in equal widths so constrain it to the bottom of frame layout and also constrain this second button to the bottom of this frame layout change the text of first button to fragment one also change its id to btn fragment one here you just have to copy this and paste this at this place and to the second button you have to give id btn fragment two here i'm going to type fragment two we just have to copy our this id and paste it at this position to remove our error after doing this we will create two fragments to create a fragment right click on app select new and hover over fragment and select blank fragment i'm going to name this fragment one press finish button similarly you have to create another fragment again right click on the app new fragment fragment blank i'm going to name this fragment two press on finish button by doing this our segment second fragment will be created now we will design front end of our fragments go to resources in, in the layout section select fragment one and here first of all we have to define two colors go to your values color.xml and i'm going to copy this paste this here and paste this again name this to the fragment one color and fragment two color fragment one color would be like this and fragment two color would be like this open fragment one layout file and here i am to going to remove this text view convert this frame layout to constraint layout click on design drag and drop a text view at here constraint top constraint bottom constraint right and constraint left and search here text size and choose 24 sp and uh, i am going to select its uh, width would be wrap content and also height would be wrap content type here fragment one and type text style bold and here you have to type android colon background at the rate of color forward slash fragment one color so you can see that our uh, fragment one layout ha have been designed successfully now we have to just copy this and open fragment two layout file here we have to paste this code and uh, here we have to type fragment two also fragment two color so both of our layouts have been have been designed now we have to do one thing more open fragment one dot java file and remove this code because we don't need this in this tutorial so we have to remove this code and here you have to type view and uh, remove this return type here review is equal to and in the below section you have to return view your code can work without doing this process but uh, it would be helpful for you and for us in the future tutorials also open fragment2.java class and remove this code remove this code also 
because we don't need this and here we have to again type view space view semicolon remove this return type here we is, view is equal to and here we have to return our view now we have to open our main activity and declare our two buttons and initialize them and also we have to set on click listener on those buttons so let's start first of all type here button and here i'm going to type btn fragment 1 comma btn fragment 2 semicolon inside your own key method we have to type btn fragment fragment 1 is equal to find view by id r dot id dot btn fragment 1 semicolon again we have to type btn fragment 2 is equal to find view by id r dot id dot btn fragment 2 so we have initialized our both of the buttons and now we have to set on click listener on both of our buttons so select here btn fragment 1 dot set on click listener and new on click listener so by doing this technique uh, you can set on click listener on our button first and we just have to copy this code and again paste here so we can set our on click listener on our second button inside this section you have to type replace fragment we have to type new and fragment one type semicolon so it is showing us an error because we don't have create this function we will create after a few moments later so here we have to type replace fragment new fragment two and semicolon click on this red icon click on create method and uh, because we have to create method on this activity so you can see that our method have been created successfully here we have to change this to fragment and remove this fragment 2 to fragment only okay guys now we have to type our actual code so we can replace our fragments on our main activity so we have to type here fragment manager fragment manager and uh, again we have to create object of this class fragment manager is equal to get sport fragment manager type semicolon and here we have to type fragment transaction create object of this class also fragment transaction is equal to fragment manager dot begin transaction semicolon and here we have to type fragment transaction dot replace r dot id dot frame layout comma and we have to copy this and paste this at this position type semicolon and here we have to type fragment transaction dot commit semicolon now we have write our complete code let me run the app so we can see our output guys you can see that our app have been run successfully and now hey this is our frame layout and this is our two buttons so when i will click on fragment one button you can see that our fragment one have been replaced with the uh, our frame layout ha frame layout have been replaced with the fragment one and when i will click on fragment two our frame layout have been replaced with the fragment two so guys i hope that you will must like this video and if you have any question related to this tutorial you can ask us in the comment section we will try to answer your question and finally thanks for watching